So today we're gonna do a bit of a towing test with the Hummer EV. Um, I've got my flat deck hooked onto it. I'm really just doing it just to find out how the range is on this thing. I mean, I've definitely got a, a vehicle there that's better suited for a towing job. But um, hey, why not? Let's find out how this thing is for towing a fairly long distance. Well, it's not even that long of a distance. Um, the total journey is uh, about 400 kilometers in one direction, but half of that will be on a ferry because I gotta go to Vancouver Island. So I've got this thing fully charged up. It's at 100% charge, as you can see there. And it's showing 530 kilometers range. It hasn't recalculated the range. I've got the trailer all programmed in and it's still saying 530. Um, this trailer itself, I don't know exactly what it weighs, but I think it's around 4,000 pounds. It's a pretty heavy, heavy duty trailer. So, um, and I'm picking up a, um, a frame of one of these trucks with axles and everything else. So total weight towing there will be, uh, whatever the trailer weighs. And then the coming back, it's going to be another probably 2,000, 2,500 pounds or so. So it'll be getting up there in weight. Um, so we'll see what happens. I tried leveling out the suspension, just tried raising it up and it didn't want to go up. I forgot to raise it up before I hooked the trailer on. So I'm going to try one more time right now. I heard the air compressor run for a bit. So let's give it a try and see if it'll go up. So we'll try lift it up here. Put it to normal. Yeah, it's unavailable. So I'll drop the truck, I mean drop the trailer, and uh, and then raise it up because I don't want to be driving it around on, on the lowest setting. Well now, I just tried the suspension setting and you can see suspension is actually going up, which this it wasn't working before. So I'm surprised that uh, it actually works now which actually maybe not because it tried going up but it still says it's it's low so we'll take a look here and see what uh, what it did i might need to maybe take the parking take the parking brake off and see if i can uh, move it a little bit which would allow the suspension to go up but might have to take the weight of the trailer off Yeah, so now it's saying leveling system unavailable. So I gotta take the weight of the trailer off and lift it up. Okay, so I've got the trailer unhooked and this thing's kind of leveling itself now. So it uh, went up and down and stuff. Yeah, now it's just trying to level. So now it didn't really change the height, but now it's saying it's in normal mode. So I think it was just maybe a little confused. It, I guess it went up, it kind of self-leveled. So now I can drop the trailer back down. So I just plugged it into the uh, GPS here. So it's, we've got to go 40 kilometers. It's pretty bad traffic and it's showing that we'll have 94% left when we get there. But um, we'll see what we actually end up with. Still in a bit of traffic here, got the Super Cruise on. Uh, I reset the trip meter a little, a couple of kilometers into the trip. So this one shows how many kilometers we're getting per kilowatt hour. So obviously the higher that number is, the better. Um, the estimated range, the percentage of, uh, at the time of arrival went down to 93%. Um, and it's saying 522 kilometers of range left total right now. So we'll see. Uh, see if it keeps dropping okay so made it to the ferry terminal um, didn't end the navigation but anyway it's showing that uh, estimated arrival is 89 percent um, which originally it said 94 percent and it dropped down to the average consumption it's showing 1.8 kilometers per kilowatt hour which is not quite half but um, it went down quite a ways because my usual one is 2.9 so we're um, getting on the ferry here now and 
roads. I'm gonna pick this up once we get off. So we're getting to the island here, I've updated our destination. So we've got 117 kilometers to go, about an hour and a half driving apparently, and we're supposed to get there with 69% remaining. So we'll see, see what uh, we actually end up with. But right now, it's showing that we have 479 kilometers of range, and we're at about 90%. Gonna go over the scale here. I want to get a weight on this thing. Just curious of what this trailer actually weighs. So we'll see what it is. The front is two tons. The rear axle is 27, and then the trailer 17.6. So we're pretty much at our destination here, just pulling up. So it's we've got 57% left, and uh, it originally said six, we were going to have 67. And so we've gone 156, almost 160 kilometers, because I didn't reset it right away. And we've used up um, 230 kilometers of range, so not not quite half the range. So. But I think that we're probably going to have to charge here for a bit because now we got to make the same trip back and we're going to be heavier. So if we only have 57% left now, we might not make it all the way back. So we'll try to find a fast charger after we get loaded up here and charge it up for a bit. And that should give us enough range to get back. Okay, so we're all loaded up. Next stop is the charger. Um, looks like we'll get about 55% or have 55% left when we get there. Charge it up for a bit and uh, hopefully make it back. So we're over at the charger here now. So the way these spots are set up, you gotta back into them. So now we gotta drop the trailer to be able to access the charger. But we'll just drop it here and then we'll plug it in and charge. Okay, so we're at 54%, just getting ready to plug in, drop the trailer there. Okay, so we're charging now, getting only about 130 kilowatts, but the station's max 150, so I guess that's as good as we can expect it to be. So let's see what it says here. So we're getting 328 kilometers an hour. So we'll probably let it charge for about 30 minutes and uh, we should be good. I mean, if we waited until 240, we could let it charge all the way, but it's about 1.30 now, or one o'clock, I believe. So don't wanna wait that long. We'll probably just let it charge for about 30 minutes. Okay, so we got up to 80%. We're here for 27 minutes. So that's gonna be more than enough. So we'll stop the charge now. Um, I think I saw it peak at around 137, 138. So for a 150 kilowatt charger, that's pretty good. Um, so it's just finishing up now. And uh, it's gonna send me the summary so I can post that up for you guys to see. But yeah, so 27 minutes, we went from 50% to 80%, which isn't too bad on a fairly, fairly slow charger. So with 80% charge, it's telling me that I've got 429 kilometers of range. Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, stop at a place for lunch on our way back to the ferry. So we're gonna travel 67 kilometers and apparently we'll have 67% when we get there. Um, but it's pretty close to the ferry um, once we get to the lunch spot. And after that, you know, we'll probably only have to go another 20 kilometers or so to get to the ferry. Okay, so we made it here, used up a lot more juice than expected. We went 67 kilometers 
and where the consumption's up to 0 0.9 kilometers per kilowatt hour. So we started at 80%, we're below 50% now, so really glad that uh, we stopped to charge there, otherwise we'd be in trouble. So having that big load on the back really sucks a lot of juice. So just getting going here after lunch, have another 47 kilometers to go. It's saying we're supposed to have 41% when we get there, but I bet that's not gonna be the case. Probably gonna be closer to 30, but we'll see. Trying to get a weight on this loaded trailer now. So 1960 on the front. 3140, 3180 almost on the back. Thirty-two sixty on the trailer, almost thirty-three hundred. Okay, so we've made it to the ferry terminal. Um, the range is showing ninety-seven kilometers, which is um, twenty-eight percent. We were originally supposed to have forty percent left, so um, it's definitely heating up a lot of battery, pulling this much weight. Um, it says on that drive we averaged 1.2 kilometers per kilowatt hour, and overall for the trip, we're at 1.3. So we've gone almost 300 kilometers so far, um, and have charged once. So hopefully we'll be able to get home without having to stop to charge, but we don't really have that long to go after we get off the ferry, so shouldn't be an issue and it's mostly all downhill so hopefully we'll be able to recoup some energy also so just did some quick math on it overall um the loads the frame and stuff is the, about 1640 kg um our overall total weight right now is 8300 um and we were at about 6500 before Okay, so we got off the ferry here on the way back. So we've got 40 kilometers to go. It's telling us that we're supposed to have 21% left when we get back, but uh, we'll be lucky if we make it back at this point. This range is showing us 99 kilometers, but um, it's mostly all downhill here. So hopefully you won't use too much battery getting back. So we'll see what's left once we uh, get home. Okay, so we made it home. Um, back the trailer in the driveway here so we'll just go over our total trip and then I can go ahead and unhook the trailer so overall we've got 42 kilometers of range left right now which is about 12 percent I believe um, and the whole trip was about 330 kilometers and our average consumption is 1.3 kilometers per kilowatt hour so the average is actually less than half of my regular average, which is around 2.8, 2.9. Um, so yeah, good thing we charged when we did and uh, didn't really have to charge anymore. I mean, if I had to go any further, I probably would stop a charge again because um, at the rate this was burning the range we wouldn't be really be able to go much further maybe like another 20 kilometers or so but anyway i mean this is a really heavy load overall with the trailer and the the truck frame and stuff um we're at about six thousand pounds 6500 pounds something like that so anyway so we made it back and uh, we're all good but um i think in the future i'll be using my f450 to tow